Hi right, guys, welcome to my painting session for aircraft liveries. And for today's session, we are going to repaint the Cessna Skyhawk. Uh, this is the classic variant uh, without the glass cockpit. The purpose is to make the livery look uh, a little bit more seasoned and dirty, and also to put my Virtual Airline logo on the livery. And inside the cockpit, we want to add some photos, graffiti, stickers, anything that you can take off to make it more personalized and also we want to make the interior of the aircraft uh, more dirty looking by adding stains especially coffee stains yes things like that will make it seems like it's been flown for many hours and not brand new they just came up from the factory step one locate the texture file for the Cessna uh, 172 fuselage which is this file and drag it into photoshop Next, we want to put a texture map guide onto our fuselage texture. Save it and override the default texture file. The file format is uh, DDS and in this screen you see the NVIDIA DDS format. Uh, we need to save it as uh, DXT1 uh, with no alpha as seen in my screen. And you just follow my screen setting and that should get you to the same format that uh, Microsoft FS20 is using. Alright, so the next step is to see uh, our texture map card in the FS20. You need to press home and then profile and then followed by the hanger. This step will refresh the texture being loaded. And here we are, we see the uh, texture map guide on our 172. And I want to put the uh, my logo in this area. So if you look at this area, we have a B and C there and uh, with the corresponding color. So this, this gives us a clue of uh, where is this uh, position in our texture. We shall now go back to Photoshop and locate it. And here we will try to paint markers uh, or different markers on the B and C uh, location so that we can further identify which B and C is that one on our Cessna 172 fuselage. Once you finish the marker, you uh, have to save. Repeat the same process as before, save and overwrite. With that, we want to refresh again by going back to home profile and then follow by hanger. And we will see the latest texture we have markings. And the marking is a dot with equal sign. The one dot and a equal sign marking is actually here in the texture file. With that uh, position known to us, we can drag in our logo back to the location of the identified marker and save the file, overwrite the O this time we will save without the texture map guide and the markers and we we'll go back to FS20 for preview and all looking good, the logo is in the position that I want next step is I want to add some uh, grudge uh, onto the fuselage to make the fuselage look uh, more dirty so we pull in the grudge uh, texture map, put it as a layer and set blend mode to overlay. Adjust the opacity to control how obvious you want the dirt layer to be. With that we want to save the file and uh, we would like to take a look in the hanger. And this looks good. Uh, so the same technique can be used for the cockpit. And yeah, this should uh, give you some idea and concept how to go about painting a basic uh, livery of aircraft in FS2020. Hope you like it. And we have come to the end of the video. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. If you have any question regarding the techniques, uh, please put it in the comment. I'll be most willing to answer them. Alright, see you. I'm getting on with my livery painting addiction. Bye.